Michael Roche is the best-selling author of the book Diamond Cutter and he was in Dubai to talk about ancient wisdom and modern success held at the Grand Haptur Beach Resort. Well, Michael Roche surely seems like a very interesting person and he spoke about adding Buddhism to our routine lives and business decisions. Well, we spoke to Michael in person and surely came back enlightened. Well, I'm speaking to a very special person today, an American who has studied Buddhism principles while living in Tibet for about 25 years and is now showing people how to apply that into organizations and business. Michael, welcome to Zika. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's such a pleasure to have you. Uh, first of all, please tell me, this, your story is so inspiring and to uh, take that and get it into the real world, yeah. how did you initiate it? Uh, I started, I was uh, studying at Princeton University hmm. as a student and then I had a chance to go to study with the Tibetans hmm. and I'm supposed to stay for a few weeks and I ended up staying for 25 years wow. uh, and I finished this uh, special degree called Geshe hmm. which takes 25 years hmm. in the Tibetan uh, monastic university. And you've of course very beautifully wrapped up your story in just under a minute. <laughs> I want to ask you when yeah. you've started Andean International Diamond Company and of course you escalated it to about 250 million dollars uh, yeah. company. How? What was that one thing that uh, you feel you grabbed that everyone in a business should apply? Um, we say that uh, we are trained to understand that how we see the world mm -hmm. is coming from seeds in our mind. So each person sees the world differently and each business person sees, some of them see opportunities and some of them don't see opportunities. Mm -hmm. And we say the one who sees opportunities, they have a special seed in their mind. And then in the monastery, they teach us how to plant that seed. So if I want to start a new business, if I'm, if I'm trying to start up, mm -hmm. then it's very beautiful, there are four steps. So I, yeah, I can say it in one minute. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> step number one, decide what you want. So right. some people say, I want to start a new business. Mm -hmm. Some people say, I want to find a new partner. Mm -hmm. uh, some people say, I don't know, I want to have better health mm -hmm. or inner peace. You decide what you want, number mm -hmm. one. Number two, you must choose a friend or family member or someone you know who wants the same thing. Ah, okay. uh, number three, you must help them every week, say Friday for one hour, okay. help them to get the thing they want. So if, if I have a friend who wants to start a business, mm. then I tell them every Friday for one hour, I You're will work for to. you wow. for free. Wow. Then while I am helping them, mm. I watch myself mm. helping them and mm. I'm talking to them. Mm. And then I hear that mm. and I see that and that enters my mind and that presses on my mind and it makes an impression mm. like that mm. and that becomes a seed in the mind so if I help you to start your business mm. then I have this seed in my mind that when my business when I start my own business I can see opportunities that other people don't see because wow, I have so this seed it's in working the other way it's passive yeah. while helping others well all this is definitely very inspiring i have a last question for okay. you michael uh, when we talk about buddhism principles there is a lot being said about detaching from the world detaching yeah. from uh, financial gains or anything yeah. like that how how do you fight that contradiction and still get it here into the world it's a good question uh, when the buddha said don't be attached hmm. what he meant was don't be attached to getting success the old way hmm. it means like cheating people or, or trying to do competition with other people. So attachment doesn't mean I shouldn't enjoy a nice home or a nice car or a nice family. It doesn't mean that. Attachment means I'm attached to the old way to compete mm. or to try to hurt other people to get the things I want. So detachment means detach from that old idea, mm. help others to get the things you want and that mm. will produce more success. Wow. Then that kind of success where you are financially successful, you have a successful family, mm. you are peaceful inside, you are helping mm. other people. That's not attachment. That's not a bad attachment. Mm. That's a healthy thing. Wow. We should have all of those kinds of success. Yes, yes, yes. Michael, all the best for the yeah. upcoming seminars and it was yeah. wonderful chatting up with you and oh, I would recommend you. The Diamond Cutter to everyone to start oh, with and yeah. we look forward to more of your books coming good, up. Good, good. Well, if that sounds even half interesting to you, make sure you catch his book The Diamond Cutter and learn even more about what he's talking.